welcome back so in today's video you guys are gonna cook dinner with me and also clean up the mess after dinner which is never fun um, I love cooking but I hate the cleanup um, I really hope you guys find this motivational I do want to say one I am using a home f uh, home chef <laughs> fresh I just mixed two things home chef um, recipe I am not sponsored there is a referral thing down below though I believe you get like $35 off your first purchase and then I get $35 off my next purchase something like that um, it is gonna be down below if you guys want to um, and two I am also gonna show you guys uh, me making my husband's lunch because it is his Sunday so uh, no yeah it is his Sunday um, so tomorrow he works so if you guys are interested in that please 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 don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys Alrighty, so this is the recipe that we are going to do today um it is steak quesadillas i'm taking everything out of the packaging we do have two packs of tortillas which is why you see two there so i'm going to go ahead and take everything out that i need to wash and give it a nice rinse i love using um home fresh i feel like it's so easy because they literally give you everything you don't have to be extra but i do like everything everything laid out in front of me and set up in front of me um so i'm gonna go ahead and cut the tomatoes right now i'm chopping up that jalapeno and taking out the center so it is not too spicy since i am giving my daughter a little bit of the meat doing it into nice small slices gonna zest that lemon i really normally don't like lemon personally um but i feel like it the recipe called for it and i felt like it kind of needed it because my husband does love um tacos and stuff like that with lemon I am following the recipe basically what it's exactly what it's telling me gonna go ahead and take out the leaves in the cilantro I did give it a nice little rinse and finely chop the cilantro and now I hate onions and I love onions I love eating them I hate chopping them so half of the onion needs to be bigger slices and then the other one needs to be finely chopped I did have a little pause there because I was crying mm -hmm. yep all right, now it's time for the steak. It does come with it already being chopped. I'm just going to go ahead and open up the packaging, of course, duh, and then lay it out. I am kind of showing you guys how it looks. I am pat drying it. Um, and then I did decide to chop it a little bit more because I do like my steak to be in like smaller pieces. So I am waiting for the pan to get heated. I'm going to go ahead and start the pico de gallo. I'm adding the chopped red onions, tomatoes, cilantro, half of the jalapenos, the lemon zest and the lemon juice and salt and pepper and mixing that all together right now that my pan is nice and heated i'm going to go ahead and add the steak you are noticing that i add a lot more steak than i showed previously but that's because i had steak in my fridge so i needed to make a little bit more because i'm almost here for dinner so in the other pan i'm applying the onions and jalapenos with some oil so that could cook i didn't show it but i did go ahead and add that to the meat and i mix it all together all right, and that was done. So now let's go ahead and warm up the tortillas, add some cheese. Um, I'm not using the one that came with the recipe because I did need to make more because of my mom this year for dinner this day. So go ahead and add the steaks, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add the pico de gallo on top of that as well, and then give it a nice little um, turn. We'll close it up and then give it a nice little flip. So the cheese is nicely and melted. This is so easy. And that is it literally it i really hope you guys enjoy and if you guys make this let me know down below all right now let's go ahead and make my husband's lunch so i'm gonna go ahead and just you know put the spread out um i do make them two sandwiches a day um so the first layer is always cheese i'm using two different kinds of cheese here i honestly don't remember what kind but yeah <laughs> so i make five sandwiches of one cheese five sandwiches of the other cheese i apply some mayo um five sandwiches are ham and five sandwiches are bologna um i wish i can make a warm lunch i always offer like i can make rice i can make broccoli some chicken something healthier something warmer he honestly just prefers a cold lunch um so yeah i can't convince him otherwise i tried i've tried guys 
<laughs> then I'll go ahead and just wrap them up close. And yeah, it looks so kind of like nice to watch it go really fast. Then I put it in the fridge, nice and neat for him. And then I also make him his coffee every single night. All right, guys, like I said earlier in this video, I hate the mess um, that I make when I cook. So here I am, go ahead and, you know, wash my dishes. Um, I feel like when I make these recipes, sometimes I make such a freaking mess because I'm trying to stay organized. Um, so, of course, I am washing all the dishes. I did have some different dishes also, like when I clean out the fridge. Um, and I think I had some also from earlier that day. But, you know, washing everything. Um, I usually wash everything with soap and then I go ahead and rinse everything off. Um, it is a little bit cut because I did have to stop, you know, to cater to my daughter. But, yeah, you know, doing what I got to do. <laughs> Then I did put half the dishes away because the other half did still need to be rinsed, but I didn't have room. So I went ahead and just puff out half of that away. Then I went back and rinsed the rest of the dishes. I just want to take a quick second and say thank you guys so much who have been shopping my Amazon storefront. Um, it is linked down below if you see anything you may like. All right, while I'm letting those dishes dry, I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning my stove. This day I didn't make too much of a mess, but there is a little bit of a mess. So I'm taking off those beautiful covers that I love so much that I need to replace. <laughs> taking out some of those crumbs and then I'm going to go ahead and clean it with some Dawn and some other spray that I love using. I believe it was Mrs. Mayer's. Um, and then giving that a nice little scrub. This part does um, change. Sometimes I don't use um, soap to wash these. Sometimes I honestly just wipe them down. But today I am going to give them a little bit more of a deep clean. And then I'm going to go ahead and rinse them off and clean them off with the paper towel. Just to make sure it is nice and dry. And then applying them back to my stove top. Then of course, you know, you need to go ahead and clean that sink. Rubbing it down, make sure it is nice and clean. And applying some peppermint that helps the drain smell nice and clear. Then I always wipe down my countertops with Clorox wipes or Lysol wipes and then I go over it with some uh, Mrs. Mayer's lavender apple cider, whichever one I prefer that day, just to go ahead and clean. Right now I'm putting away some of those um, dishes, get it nice and clear. And now I'm going to go ahead and broom. Um, if you have a toddler, you understand the struggle bus over here. Every breakfast, lunch, and dinner, there is food all over the floor. So I am brooming my entire kitchen. And then I vacuum my entire kitchen to make sure I don't miss any little pieces, which I always hear the sound that I miss some pieces. And then I go ahead and steam mop or ice swiffer, either or. Today I am steam mopping my kitchen to make sure it is nice and clean. Moving everything back. And, you know, just seeing. I love this steamer. Random thought, excuse my PJs, guys. Yep. And that is it. My kitchen is nice and clean and ready for tomorrow's disaster. And of course, it isn't clean unless you light a candle at the end. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Happy holidays. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.